was a legend in her own right way before the Pasito. You know, she's had so many number one hits. My husband and I have both been to Panama, where she's beloved. That's her home country. You would admire what Gloria and Emilio... Yeah, and now that you're mentioning all of that, since I was a little girl, I used to admire a lot of artists. But when I saw Gloria Estefan and Emilio Estefan taking over the world with Conga, I was like nine years old. And I remember sitting, watching TV beside my mom and saying, you know what, I want the world to sing my songs as well. You know, so she inspired me. <laughs> and after that, I saw Ricky as well. And that was an inspiration because it was, we got, we related to that moment. We, we felt like we were represented. That's when I think the Spanglish started in music. My dream was always to write a song that the whole world could sing, but I thought it would be made in English. So I was pursuing that crossover and I moved to LA in order to do that, but always sticking to my roots, which is what I think is valuable in all of us, you know, the way we see the world. And that this foundation is called we are, We're All Human because at the end, we're all the same. In essence, we're all the same. We just see the world with different eyes. The same body that you know dances a different rhythm to a it's different true. rhythm, and then the same tongue that speaks a different language. When I went to LA, uh, ironically, Fonsi calls me and tells me, "You know what? I'm looking for songs for my next CD. Can you come over to Miami so we can write something?" And then I went back to Miami. I sat with him. It was like two o'clock in the afternoon. At six, the song was made. And between two and three, we were having coffee and chatting. So I think that whenever a song comes with a mission, it just flows. It came out of a guitar, no beats, no producers, nothing. We just sat down and wrote a song. He wanted to challenge himself because he was very well known as a, a Latino balladist. And he wanted to do something different, and everything that was trending was reggaeton. I grew up listening to reggaeton in Panama. We weren't expecting this to be the crossover. It became. It just started like a snowball on day one, number one in 14 countries. Then 24 hours later, the most uh, seen video on YouTube ever, and then more than six billion streams. It was crazy, and we ju it just kept surprising us. But then I understood it had a mission. It had the mission of breaking the walls they wanted to build for Latinos. It had the mission of crossing over in our own language. And it made me, and I say this in a very humble way, a woman in the middle of that. all of this that broke all records in you music are a woman that's broken in, all in music history because of that song as well. So I hope, I really hope that I can, I really hope that I can inspire that new girl just the same way that Gloria Estefan inspired myself and that we can all understand that by using music as a powerful tool, we can really make a difference. The we talk a lot about the image of Latinos in America, right? And I know that's a big part of why we're here to, you know, to exalt and um, celebrate the contributions of this community, of all of this community to this country. Erica created something in Panama that I have no doubt can be replicated here in the U.S. and different countries around the world for children and throughout education and the arts. Uh, can you just tell us about that, Erica? Because, you know, we have this forum at the United Nations with leaders from all over, and it would be wonderful for them to know what Talempro is and does, and it was your brainchild, and it is truly changing and shifting the paradigm in Panama. I totally give credit to my mom and dad. I grew up listening to my mom saying all the time, we all have a talent, we have different talents, different skills, and we have to use it for the common good. So use your talent with a purpose. That's why it's called Talembro. Talento con propósito. Talent with a purpose. So it's a platform that showcases talent in different categories, but at the same time gives you um, tools for life. Now we're in a world that is so broken. There are so many families that are broken nowadays. Technology is helping us very much, but technology without integrity and values has no value. But I tried to uh, create a meta uh, methodology that would sum talent, values, social responsibility, and education. Af after they're picked as finalists for, their, um, for the grand finale, they have to recruit people in their own school. They receive different uh, workshops with tools for life, values, and everything else. So that was the, the, the back door that I found to you know, uh, plant that seed 
in the new generation and then they get, they get prepared to do social labor towards a school in a vulnerable condition. So through uh, this program, we get to restore 12 schools a year. And the kids, the, the youth is doing it themselves. And you those know? kids get scholarships. And Can then we speak whenever, to that? Yeah, whenever they get to the grand finale, they get scholarships. They can study whatever they want. Anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world. Anywhere so in the world. So it's all together. And I think that, as I was saying, it's such a powerful tool. We have a microphone here, cameras, everything. If we use it the right way, we can really make a difference in the world. We just have to unite and understand so, that. So Thank you. God has been very good to, to her, and she's, she continues to give back. What are some of the recommendations you have as I enter <laughs> this industry and try to help this you know, new, aspiring, up-and-coming artist? The first thing is to challenge yourself and be truthful to yourself. Understand that if you have a talent, there's, there's going to be ways for you to showcase it and try to inform yourself as much as you can. Stick to your values. There's a lot of corruption. There's a lot of things out there. Make sure you go to bed with a clean conscience. For me, that's the most important thing because your time is gonna come. And besides that, use every, every single platform you can by being authentic. Whatever is authentic, transcends. That's what I think. Guys, a round of applause for Erica Ender and Desmond Child. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.